Hey guys, Sergeant M once again with um, some more work on the uh, Ken Dryden uh, Xbox 360 right now. I'm working on the controllers. And then on the last video that I made, I, I mentioned that uh, I'm going to be spicing these up a little bit. On the This is the mock-up. Um, you know, one of the controllers, the top is going to be red. The other one, the other one, the top is going to be blue. And then vice versa. The bottom is going to be red. The bottom is going to be blue. So obviously you can see that. Uh, but, you know, I emailed my customer. I said, hey, you know, they look okay, you know. But to me, for me, for me, they're a little flat. And I kind of want to do something to spice these up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is on the blue parts, I'm going to take and shoot some uh, Auto Air Gem Shift Sapphire. And on the red is going to be some Auto Air Gem Shift Ruby. Now, what is that? Uh, now, they're basically... Um, pearls that are suspended in auto air's transparent base and there you can see what they look like in the bottle it just looks like a uh, milky sort of substance in there but um, and and bl believe me this does dry clear um, generally you do put ru uh, these gem shift colors over uh, a, a sealer dark or a black but they will look really cool over a complementary color so with the ruby putting that over the red it's gonna look really cool what this does is it actually shifts colors these pearls in here shifts colors uh the ruby goes from like uh uh like a really nice chartreuse to it to a, a dark red uh and this the sapphire that i have mixed up in, in a, a separate bottle um this shifts from uh, from a really nice like uh, cobalt blue uh, it's almost a violet, and the as I said, you know, the the shifting is more pronounced over a sealer dark or over a black base, um, but over over a complementary color like this, it's just going to add that extra little flare, that extra little kick that that I think is going to look really cool on these controllers. Um, I'll give you guys an example of the the uh, gem sapphire, the the gem shift sapphire. Painted this on uh, my buddy's uh, bike uh, last weekend. Now I know in this light, and and bear in mind that this is not cleared. I know that in this light, uh, you can see it looks like it's black. Uh, you can see maybe some violet in there. Maybe a dark blue. So depending on how the light is hitting it and what light you're in, this will look much, much better out in the sun, but, you know, there's the window to my shop. Uh, <laughs> it's nighttime, so obviously, you know, I can't take it out in the sun and show you, but uh, these colors, they look, oh, they look awesome in the sun. I have a, a test video that I did like a year ago, and I'll put, I'll link that in the uh, description uh, with all four of the colors, the, the jade, the ruby, the sapphire, and the... Uh, turquoise that's the fourth uh, color in the gem shift series so there's just a little example of the uh, of what the sapphire will look like and there's our controllers this is gonna look really cool all I'm gonna do is you know one or two really light dusting coats on these I'm not gonna go uh, for any sort of like super saturation or anything to get you know to, to just just really blow this out because it's not going over a dark base. It's not going to be that pronounced. It's going to be indoors. Lighting isn't going to be perfect. So don't really have to go real, real far with these. So a couple, you know, a couple dusting coats on this. And I think it's going to look really cool. It's going to give it that extra little pop that it doesn't have right now. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for checking it out. Later.